Hello students. Today we are going to learn very very important law in the electrostatics called as Gauss law. Gauss is also called as the prince of mathematics. He was a German mathematician and physicist who made significant contributions to many fields in mathematics and science. Myself, Dr. Vijay Maikar, Associate Professor and Head of the Department of Physics, Ram Ruya Autonomous College. Today we are discussing Gauss law. Here we are referring to the flux of the vector field through the surface. So it could be stated in a convenient manner refer to this diagram here you can see the surface located over here and the vector field a bar is piercing through this particular surface so the flux phi is defined to be normal component of the vector field a bar through any surface intercepted by the vector field and it is given by following integral equation. So flux phi is equal to surface integral of a bar, right, dot ds bar. So it is the surface integral of a bar is taken over this particular surface, right? Now here you could see the direction of a bar is different and also the direction of the normal vector, right? Okay, which is always normal to the surface element we consider here. So here we are considering flux to be the normal component of the vector field to the surface and it does not include the component on the surface. Now we refer to this picture, right? So if the vector field A bar represents flow of a fluid as shown in this diagram, right? You can see the flow of the water coming out of this pipe. Then the surface integral of A bar, right? With respect to this particular surface will represent the amount of fluid flowing through the surface per unit time. So we can consider this surface to be here mounted on the output point and it is also called as the flux of the fluid through the surface. Okay, so it is here we are referring to the amount of fluid flowing through the surface. For this reason, we often call the surface integral of a vector field as a flux integral. Okay, now we are referring to the closed surface. So for the closed surface as shown in this particular diagram, flux could be written as phi is equal to closed surface integral of a bar dot ds bar. So here this closed circle on the integration sign, it represents closed surface. And for a closed surface here, you could see that ds vector is along the radial direction so it is also along the normal direction or called as a outward normal now here we could see that the charge q is located somewhere in the space and we could construct an imaginary spherical surface around it with a certain fixed radius okay keeping that charge at the center then all the electric field lines which are coming from this particular electric charge they are along the radial direction okay and this radial direction happen to be the same as the direction of ds bar okay so this is where we are referring to the closed surface 